the Daily Mail, one of the most racist, abusive, bigoted, hateful tabloids in the world that spreads hate for profit, accused a man of integrity, Mason Harriman, a photographer, of doctoring Harry and Meghan's pregnancy announcement photo. And please kindly take note of this. Daily Mail is lying. And Mr. Harriman is someone who is full of integrity. He would never do what Daily Mail is accusing him of. Doctoring Harry and Meghan's second pregnancy announcement photo. Mr. Harriman would never ever do such a thing. Never. And Mr. Harriman has responded to those lies by releasing the original JPEG photo without the black and white grade that was used to announce Harry and Meghan were pregnant with their second child after Suffering the pain of losing their unborn child. My family, Mr. Harriman, responded and reacted the way someone who is full of integrity would do. By showing that he is a man full of class. By showing the entire world that he has nothing to hide. Now, my family, don't get me wrong. Mr. Harriman did not need to publish this original JP photo of Harry Meghan announcing their second pregnancy. He did not have to do that. But because Daily Mail was trying to drag his reputation through the mud, my family, Mr. Harriman, had to reveal the truth. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what Mr. Harriman did. He revealed the truth. And he went so far as to even show evidence that he did not doctor the photo used to my family announce that Harry Megan were expecting a child, their second born child, Lilibet. My family. And my family, and right now I am looking at the video, at the, sorry, at the photo. It is beautiful. My family, it is beautiful. This photo of Harry Meghan is just completely gorgeous. My family, as they just, you know, you know, gaze at each other, enjoying that they were expecting Lilibet after suffering the pain of losing their unborn child because of the actions of the Daily Mail, putting Megan through so much stress that Megan and Harry sadly suffered the pain of losing their unborn child. And there is something. That I am remembering. In light of what is happening right now. Megan. Just a few days ago. Said. That whenever she was pregnant. The attacks on her. Were much worse. And then Daily Mail. Goes ahead to prove. Megan right. By targeting. A beautiful photo. Of Harry Meghan, a special moment whereby Harry Meghan were announcing they were pregnant with their second child. Daily Mail targets that moment. They target that moment with lies as they try and soil the beautiful moment where Harry Meghan were just celebrating, enjoying that they were going to have a second child. 
after suffering the pain of losing the unborn child, God blessed Harry Meghan with Daily Bet. And Daily Mail is trying to sow that memory using lies by claiming the photo used was doctored just to try and soil and ruin that special moment in Harry and Meghan's lives using lies, using lies. And my family, allow me to remind you what Meghan said just a few days ago and then think of what is happening right now. My family, kindly please look my family at this. What Megan said just four days ago, my family at the South by South with my family event that Megan attended my family in my family, Texas. Can you please hear this? Please? Fortunately, I know that this is something that you are all too familiar with. So how have you been able to manage the seemingly endless toxicity uh, that comes at you? Yes, social media is a environment that I think has a lot of that, you know, I, it's really interesting as I can reflect on it. I keep my distance from it right now just for my own um, well-being, but the bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily and with a newborn with each of them. Um, and you just think about that. And you, to really wrap your head around why people would be so hateful. It's not catty, it's cruel. Why you would do that, certainly when you're pregnant or you have a newborn, we all, as moms, you know it's such a tender and sacred time. And I think, you know, you could either succumb to it or nearly succumb to how painful that is. And maybe in some regards, because I was pregnant, that mammalian instinct just kicked in. Do everything you can to protect your child and as a result, protect yourself too. But, you know, I think as we look at what's happening in social media, there is so much work to be done in terms of keeping people safe. And that starts as we see what's happening. My family, Megan has described the moment that she was pregnant as a tender and sacred moment a tender and a very very sacred moment and my family megan and harry announcing that they were pregnant with their second child after losing a child that was an important sacred and tender moment for a megan and daily mail they know that they know that and no wonder they chose to target that moment using lies trying to soil the beautiful moment that Harry and Meghan are never going to forget using lies using lies and just a few days ago Meghan was saying to the entire world that whenever she was pregnant the attacks on her were even worse were even worse she said, it is not catty, it's cruel. And then my family, the thing is, it is not just on social media where Megan is trolled or abused. Remember, all the attacks towards Megan are most, mostly spearheaded by the UK tabloid media who are receiving the orders from the farm, from Prince William, from Charles, from Kate, from Camilla. They are the ones giving the orders to abuse and attack Harry Megan. Mostly Megan is the target. You know? And I empathize with Megan because of all the pain she has gone through. Megan did not deserve to be bullied throughout her pregnancy, to be bullied at all. The only thing that Megan did was just fall in love with Harry. That's all she did. Just fall in love. Fall in love. But because she is a man of color, Daily Mail, the firm, just couldn't stand seeing a man of color marrying a prince they believe or see or view as their own personal property. 
And they have targeted Megan with abuse, with hatred, with racist comments, in the hopes of driving Megan away from Prince Harry. But despite everything that Megan has endured, Megan has stuck by Harry's side. And the firm, thank God, have been unable to break this union between Harry and Megan. You know? For my family, just a few days ago, just four days ago, four days ago, just four days ago, Megan was telling the tower of how when she was pregnant, that was the time whereby she was bullied so much. And my family, the, the ones who have been behind that bullying are mainly the UK tablet media, mainly members of the Raw Rota who serve Charles and William and Camilla. My family, they are the ones who have been so abusive, so insulting towards Megan. They've been so racist towards Megan. And not just Megan, also had Megan's kids. You know? In my family, just a few days after Megan saying that when I was pregnant, the attack was worse. Just a few days after Megan said that, Daily Mail is targeting that special moment whereby Harry and Megan announced they were pregnant with their second child. To solve that moment with lies. They are proving everything that Megan has said is the truth. 100% Megan has always been telling the truth And the thing is We've known this for a long time We've seen it with our own two eyes Of how Megan Has been bullied Attacked By the Wiki media Well by the Wiki media Megan had no right whatsoever to privacy But Kim Moulton Apparently Wiki media believe That she's the one Who has Ah, right to privacy. Why, my family? Because Kate is white and Megan is a woman of color. And Megan, being biracial, to the media, doesn't deserve privacy. And my family thing is, as I've always said, Megan was dehumanized and clearly continues to be dehumanized by the UK tablet media. The trolling that goes on on social media is because people have been lied to by the UK tablet press. You know? Number one, UK media come up with the lie and then that lie is spread on X, Instagram, or Facebook, or my family meta, whatever, whatever my family is called, whatever it's called, as the truth. Lies being written by Daily Mail is spread as the truth on different social media platforms. And then the trolls, my family, read the lies, they promote those lies, being spread about Megan, and then troll Megan based on a, lie, on a lie written by a carnival of so called experts who write columns for the Daily Mail. My family, that's how it goes down. That's how it happens. Time and time again. And no wonder Harry did say that UK media are the mothership of online trolling. Trolls react and mobilize to stories created by the UK media, not the other way round. And Harry was right. And Harry was right. 100%. He was right. He and Megan are always right. So my family, I don't know what I should say. Maybe I should even say thank you. Thank you to the Daily Mail for always proving Megan and her right time and time again. Thank you for always proving Harry and Megan are always right. You know? My family, look at what Mr. Harriman 
has just done. Mr. Harriman has posted the original picture of Harry Meghan's second pregnancy, my family announcement. You know, with my family, when Megan was pregnant with Elizabeth. And also, my family, he has even posted the information of the picture taken. Taken using an iPod, an Apple iPad. iPad, iPad 8 generation back camera. 2,448 times 3,264, my family. You know, my family, 4.47 MB, JPEG, ISO 25, 3.3 millimeters, you know, my family, Mr. Harriman has posted the full evidence that indeed he did not doctor the image used, my family, when Harriman was announcing that they were pregnant with their second child after losing my family if they are unborn child. You know? My family, Mr. Harriman, has posted the full evidence. You know? And it turns out the dress that Megan wore when announced that she and Harry were pregnant with Lilibet, my family, their second born, you know, child, daughter is the same dress that Megan wore for my family Archie's first birthday that happened in the US at Tyler Perry's home. My family it is such a gorgeous, beautiful couple. Such a gorgeous and beautiful couple. You know, couple and my family a beautiful photo. A wonderful couple and a very, very beautiful my family photo, a wonderful couple and a beautiful photo of Harry and Meghan. This is just beautiful. And Harry and Meghan belong together. They love each other. And they're just beautiful together. They are just beautiful together. And we love them so much. We love them so much. You know? We love them immensely, immensely, immensely. The only thing that Mr. Harriman changed, that everybody knew he changed, was the black and white color grade. That's the only thing that my family, Mr. Harriman, you know, my family, you know, changed. That's the only thing my family that he changed. And he has said that this journalism by Daily Mail is dangerous and completely unacceptable behavior. It's sickening what Daily Mail is able to get my family away with so long for so, so many times. Because really, this lie can even destroy Mr. Harriman. It can destroy someone's reputation. Credibility. You know? That's what this lie can do. Thankfully, Mr. Harriman, my family, has evidence to prove that Daily Mail are lying. And my family, he has released the evidence on his ex account, formerly called Twitter. For everyone, to be able to see. I'm so sorry Mr. Harriman. That it came to this. I'm so sorry. But once again. Daily Mail is showing the entire world. Just how. They dehumanized Megan. Just how clearly. They never ever wanted Harry Megan. To have kids. And that's why. UK Media bullied Megan. More whenever they found out that Megan was pregnant because they never wanted Megan to be able to safely deliver and give Harry kids. They did not want that. Why? Because of racism. Why? Because they want Harry despair, lonely, miserable like Margaret. My family. Thankfully, the Prince Harry has been able to, my family, decide, you know, and choose a future that he wants. A happy future one full of you know so much love so much happiness and my from this photo 
just represents happiness and how to make it look good. And I love that garden. I love that garden. You know, whenever I look at, you know, the background even, wow, beautiful. That's just beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, you understand why. You can be like, you know, how is going to come back? How is going to come back and stay at, uh, you know, Nottingham Cottage where William is? Whereby you have to enter and tilt your head because, honestly, this, where Harry Meghan are living, in Montecito, represents peace, freedom, success, money, <laughs> freedom, and Wikimedia can't stand everything that my family, Harry Meghan's home, in Montecito, represents. My family, wow, Harry Meghan have a beautiful home. I also love that garden. It looks really, really beautiful. Just imagine, you know, Archie and Little Dana are just running around that garden. Wow. And maybe even riding the bike in this garden. Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. You know? I can imagine old picture. Harry Megan having, you know, breakfast outside. Just enjoying the beautiful garden. Wow. It is beautiful. Beautiful and very big. Beautiful and very, very big. Beautiful and very, very big, my family. You know, I hope Harry Meghan keep this home forever because <laughs> that is sure to rail up the Wikimedia, you know, who clearly want Harry Meghan to sell this home and just move to a smaller place. You know, I even had them be like, you know, Harry Meghan refused to downsize, uh, to downsize and move to a smaller space or my family's a smaller place. They are so bitter that Harry Meghan was able to afford this, you know, amazing place. Wow, the garden is beautiful. My family and my family i hope Harry megan never sell this place you know i know that in the future maybe someone will be like okay i've, I've stayed I've stayed here for like five six years or ten years okay maybe i want a bigger place or a or a or a my family different place but i really hope Harry megan keep this place because it is beautiful it is beautiful i hope Harry megan keep this place you know permanently as my family their permanent home this is just beautiful my family very very beautiful you know, and Harry and Meghan are a beautiful couple. And may God bless them immensely. Mr. Harry Man, once again, I am sorry about what you have gone through. I'm so sorry. But I'm thankful really because, wow, thank you for showing us this photo. It's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. You know, it's just beautiful. And Mr. Harry Man, you are one talented photographer. Wow, just wow. Hopefully one day you'll take a photograph of me. <laughs> hopefully one day I don't know if I can afford you but hopefully one day you take a photograph of, of me Mr. you really are incredible you really are incredible you really are incredible you know and Mr. Harriman posted on his ex account saying this that the original JPEG without the black and white grade I expect a full apology and, re and retraction from mail online Telegraph and a carnival of so-called expert called Victoria Ward, who is a known liar. No trees or meadows were moved or swapped. This is the image straight out of the camera. Also, that is a jacarana, jacarana tree. Also, that is a jacarana tree behind Harry Megan, not a willow tree, says Mr. Harriman. My family. Now, my family, I always knew that Mr. Harriman was telling the truth. Always, always, always. My family, I always knew that. And one thing that people must always be reminded is that Daily Mail, they lie so much. They lie so much. And they lie to destroy people's lives. That's one of the reasons why they lie. They lie to destroy your life. And this lie had the Capacity to destroy Mr. Harriman's life. But thankfully, Mr. Harriman keeps evidence of the pictures he takes, my family. And really, when it comes to Wikimedia, it's important to keep your evidence. It's important to have receipts when it comes to my family, when it comes to Wikimedia. Because my family, they lie too many times. They lie too many times, my family. You know? And really. May no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, and Harry and Meghan's closest genuine friends ever prosper. My family, 
Harry Meghan, you are loved. She said, Harry, man, I'm sorry you had to go through this. And the picture posted by Mr. Harriman, my family, has garnered 1.7 million views in just a few hours. My family, wow. Harry and Meghan are just completely incredible and they're super, super smart. And my family, we love them so much. You know, we, my family, we love Harry and Meghan and uh, Mr. And Harriman so much they are good good people they're good people and they're full of harry megan are just full of my family influence wow 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 and they are so loved they are so so love my family and things also before you forget can you please remember the, remember this when daily mail lied about mr harriman mr harriman responded with the truth Daily Mail accused Mr. Harriman of doctoring Harry and Meghan's pregnancy announcement photo. And then Mr. Harriman released the original photo. The truth with evidence, backed by evidence. It is worth noting. The palace, after releasing a fake photo of Kim Mutton, they said they are not going to release any other photograph of Kim Morton. It is worth noting. The palace refused to release the, my family, original photo that my family claimed they, that Kim Morton edited. The palace refused to release the photo, the original photo. That Kimuton was apparently that she apparently edited or doctored. The palace refused to do that. Why? Because they never had any kind of original photo of Kate and the kids. My family. What they had was just a photoshopped fake photo intended to, to lie to the public. To lie to you and me. You know, that way, no one asks the questions, where is Kim Wharton? My family, people are talking and they're asking questions still. Where is Kim Wharton, my family? And what did William do to his wife and family? What did William do to his wife? My family, someone said, you know, I'm sorry, my son, that you have to deal with this toxic mess. But that is a beautiful image of Harry and Meghan. Mr. Harry man, don't let anyone demulate or talent, Miss son. The world is so much better off with you showing us it through your eyes. My family indeed very true. Someone else said that what a gorgeous picture of Harry and Meghan. Shame on the British tabloids. And they better apologize to you, Mr. Harriman. They better issue an apology to you, Mr. Harriman, for lying on you, for lying about you, and try to destroy your livelihood. My family, indeed very true. Indeed very true. They need to say sorry to Mr. Harriman, my family. Someone else said that, you know, wow, this photo is just gorgeous. Thank you, Mr. Harriman. It is beautiful. It is indeed very much my family. Beautiful. Someone else called for Mr. Harriman to sue the UK tabloids. My family, about suing, it is not a walk in the park as we think it is. It's very expensive. It costs hundreds of thousands of pounds to sue the UK media. It costs a lot of money to sue them. So my family, even if you want to ask someone Hey, go ahead and sue. Go ahead and sue. I believe we must understand that how many people have the kind of deep pocket that Harry Meghan have? They, my friend, they don't. They don't. They don't. You know. And that's why even people are saying that not everyone can take on the UK tablet press. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone can afford to sue UK Media on phone hacking 
because it's very expensive, you know. And it takes people like Prince Harry who have deep pockets to be able to take on the UK double press. That's why media have been targeting Harry and Meghan's income sources, not just to ensure Harry and Meghan fail, but also to ensure that Prince Harry isn't able to sue the UK tabloids, my family. To ensure that Harry isn't able to sue the UK media, my family. That's why they do what they do. That's why they're targeting Harry and Meghan's income streams. You know? So my family, yeah, I would want Mr. Harriman to sue them. But I understand, not everyone has the deep pockets that my family, you know, Harry has. Not everyone in my family has that. You know, and my family, Mr. Harriman, we stand with you. We are with you. And may no one from against you by the media ever prosper. You, Mr. Harriman, are not alone. And I'm sorry about what Wiki Media just did to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about them trying to taint your reputation. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But please keep staying strong. Keep staying strong. And Mr. Harriman, you are an amazing photographer. And just know that, you know, you are loved. You're a great man. And you are loved. And we are with you. And whatever decision you make, just know you are not alone. We are with you. And we'll all keep on fighting. This is Kampi Pedoki Media. And keep exposing the lies being spread by the UKW press. We are going to ensure that everyone knows that no one should ever trust anything that comes from the Daily Mail. My family, we are going to make sure of that. By exposing the truth. By telling the truth. And exposing the lies of the UK Media. My family. Now with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bedana and Rodney Ragland, and all of you members we've got at home. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, and may God bless you, all my family. He never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever, and may God bless each and every single one of your family. You know, stay tuned. For this video, love also forever and may God bless you, my family. Hello, members of the Scott Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.